Express reduction is probably the worst, um, or the what? The more, oh no, the biggest concern for successful breastfeeding. Would I say that you can absolutely successfully breastfeed with a breast reduction? Absolutely. I'm, it's done all the time. It's probably about 50%. There's again, like I said, there's multiple things that come in, and a lot with breast reduction. Do they did they fully take off your areola? Did they leave it connected at the nerves? Did they? There's a lot of things that are involved. How much tissue was taken out? How much of it was fat? How much of it was milk ducts? You know, there's a lot of components involved with a breast reduction that could hamper your success and then in, a, in turn, like I said, be perfectly you fine. You won't know until you try and that's the best point and I tell, like I had a breast, a woman pumping today and I told her that, you know, because she had a breast reduction, I expected her to give it 110% if she was even thinking about success and she could very well have it, but you really have to make sure you're going to give it 110% in order to get the the results you want. And then you, once you see the results, good, act like everybody else, you know, but in the beginning, really drive your system well. So you're really looking at wet diapers and the weight yeah, gain. Yeah, exactly. We're really going to watch you closer. So that needs to be on your chart. The woman who I was talking about today who had the breast reduction, it wasn't. I just went and hooked her up to the pump. She also had twins, and I hooked her up to the pump, and I noticed that her areoles weren't centered. And I was like, do you ever have <laughs> breast reduction surgery? And she's like, I did. I did when I was young, blah, blah, blah. And we got into it.